Vincent's next big screen appearance of 1964 was the post-apocalyptic sci-fi film, The Last Man on Earth. Vincent Price plays Dr. Robert Morgan, the sole survivor of a biological plague that has turned mankind into a race of vampires. At night, he locks himself inside his home, surrounded by hordes of the howling creatures, keeping them at bay with mirrors and cloves of garlic, which he hangs on his doors and windows. By day, he ventures forth into the city, tracking down and slaying the creatures, destroying them by driving a wooden stake through their chests. He takes their bodies to a giant pit and burns them. One day while on his runs, he finds a dog and is thrilled to find another living creature. However, he soon finds that it too is infected with the virus and is forced to destroy it. While burying the dog, he spots a woman walking alone, the first person he's seen since the virus struck. At first she runs from him, but he convinces her to come back to his house with him. Wait, I'm not gonna hurt you, can't you understand? Wait! Morgan explains to the woman that the best guess for his immunity to the virus is that he was bitten by a bat years earlier while working in Panama. He discovers that the woman, named Ruth, played by Franca Batoya, is carrying the disease. The woman reluctantly admits that she was infected, but is now part of a group that have created a vaccine that temporarily cures the disease. However, she must have regular injections. She also admits that she was sent there to spy on Morgan and learn what he knows of the disease. Her group plans to wipe out the creatures and start mankind over again. Morgan is considered a monster by them, as many of the creatures he destroyed were still alive and loved ones of her group. She warns him that they are coming to kill him, then passes out from a lack of her medicine. To do. <laughs> Morgan does give her a blood transfusion and is thrilled to learn that it has completely cured her. However, it's too late as her group has arrived and he must go on the run to try to survive. Run! It's time to kill you, mother! Get him! Get him! This was the third and final film Price made in Italy in the summer of 61. It was based on the book I Am Legend by Richard Matheson and reportedly originally intended to be made by Hammer Studios. They ultimately passed on the film and rights were bought by Lippert Pictures. It was filmed in Italy as a cost-saving measure and directed by Sidney Salco and Ubaldi Ragona who directed The Italian Unit. Price had worked with director Salco the previous year on the anthology film Twice Told Tales. This was the first big screen adaptation of the Richard Matheson novel, which would be remade two more times. As the Omega Man in 1971 starring Charlton Heston and I Am Legend in 2007 starring Will Smith. This film is the best of the three, although the Omega Man is a close second. I Am Legend is very forgettable and not recommended. Richard Matheson said in interviews that he didn't care for Price in the lead role. However, he actually does a fine job as the action hero. This is one of the more physical roles of his entire career, second perhaps only to the 1962 film Confessions of an Opium Eater. The Last Man on Earth is one of the few films that Price made in the science fiction genre. Despite its low production value, the film has a creepy vibe and otherworldly feel throughout. The music is great and this is an early entry in the field of zombie cinema. The vampires in this movie actually move and act much more like the traditional zombies that we're familiar with nowadays. It's easy to see how this was an influence on George Romero and his Night of the Living Dead, which would be filmed four years after this one. Next up, Price would be reunited with director Roger Corman in The Mask of the Red Death. <laughs>
been told that some people actually prefer to limit their intake of food. For those lighter appetites, Cousins offers a brilliant light lunch. Cousins Mini Sub and Soup. This combination is even available meatless with a tuna or cheese sub. Whichever you choose, you'll have Cousins' fresh quality ingredients, choice meats, mild mellow cheese, crisp greens, and famous bread. Cousins' light lunch combo. However you light it, you'll like it. <laughs>